y'all. Today I'm feeding Greg. I'm going to be making some homemade lasagna. I'm starting this recipe off with some smoked sausage. I'm putting that smoked sausage there in my food processor and I'm going to grind it. There we go. Grind, 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 grind. Until it looks like some ground meat. Put that in there. There we went. And I'm also adding to it some ground beef. I put those both in the skillet and let them brown. There we go. All right, then to that I added some green bell peppers and some onion. I put that in my food processor and I ground that up a little bit as well. Well, processed it till it was a little bit chunky. Um, and I added that to the skillet as well. Then I took my Muller's lasagna noodles and I added those to some boiling water. In that water I had some olive oil and some salt. So I put those in there and let those boil. And notice the crisscross pattern. I put them like that so they wouldn't stick together. Put those in there. All right, there's the skillet with the meat, the uh, sausage, and the onions and green pepper in the skillet. I also added some garlic to that. There you see that garlic, it's all in there sizzling. Um, next I added some basil paste. I didn't have any fresh basil, so basil paste. I added a couple cans of uh, Rotel tomatoes, the hot ones, because I like a little spice in everything that I do. So I put those in there. Stir them around a little bit. Look at that. It's looking delicious already. Yes, add a little salt to that skillet. Then I added some classical, I think that was like some spicy tomato um, sauce. Put that in the skillet and let that simmer around in there. There it is simmering. Mmm, so good. And then those are those lasagna noodles that are boiling. Those both boil for about 12 minutes. Next, I took some ricotta cheese and an egg and I put it in my mixing bowl and I blended those together. Um, in the meantime, I took the spaghetti noodles off and put them in the sink and rinsed them in cold water. Then I started layering it. I put that meat in my pan. I put the, took those noodles out and I layered those on top of the meat, the meat sauce mixture. I didn't like that one, so I redid it there. There we go. So I did those layers. On top of that, I added that, that's that ricotta egg mixture. So I put that on top of that, the, the, that layer. Then I added some mozzarella. Took real, I was real generous with it. Just took handfuls of it and sprinkled it on top of that ricotta. Then I took, um, I actually did another layer of meat after that. And then I put that shaved Parmesan on top of the meat. And then I added another layer of noodles. I repeated the steps. I repeated the steps. Noodles, then the ricotta, then the Parmesan. Then I added, I added some meat on top of it and then sprinkled the top with some mozzarella. I took that pan spray and sprayed a piece of aluminum foil and um, to, so I could put it on top of my lasagna. The oven was at 375, guys, by the way. Anyway, that is the finished product after I baked it for about a half hour. Look at those layers. It is the layers for me. And there it is coming out of there. It's nice and thick and cheesy. And Greg said this was the best lasagna he has ever had. Hope you guys are having a great day, and we'll see you next time.